G'day, welcome back to Gurneel's Garage. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at my new toy. It's a Tasmanian M-Class Garrett um, in five inch gauge, built by a bloke, I believe from Mull Creek, Tasmania. Um, he built the engine units, the main frame and the cab and the tanks. And then he passed away from cancer, I believe. And it was purchased by Michael Howe, boiler maker in Penguin. And he's completed the boiler and got it to this stage, plumbed it all up. Um, currently the boiler is not ticketed, but it's passed hydraulic test under boiler inspection. And it's got all the approved drawings there. So hopefully that shouldn't be an issue to get that ticketed when I'm ready. Um, so... It's a Garrett, so it's got two engines. They've got the front unit and the back unit. So it's a 4-4-2-2-4-4 wheel arrangement. It's got eight cylinders. It's got four on the front, two on the outside of the frames, and two on the inside with um, piston valves. So eight cylinder, five inch gauge locomotive. Um, the boiler is a steel boiler. Um, 8 mil plate, um, superheated, so it's got four or five superheater flues. I'm not quite sure. I have to look at the drawings. I haven't got that far yet. Um, it's got vacuum brakes, so there's vacuum pumps in between the wheels there. The vacuum tank. Um, there's crosshead water pump on each engine to feed the boiler, plus two live steam injectors. Come over to the cab here, we can lift the cab off. And we have this pressure gauge. It's currently set to 100 PSI, the safety valves. Got four, four safety valves as per the original. Um, so we've got two sight glasses there, regulator in the middle, uh, steam operated cylinder cocks on all of the cylinders, uh, the whistle valve up there, uh, fire hole door, vacuum brakes and the forward reverse mechanism. And down here we have water to injector one, water to injector two and the handbrake there. The amount of detail in this is unreal. Like these doors here all operate spring operated little catches all handmade come into the back there i uh, got four mechanical lubricators fill them up in through the top there so two on each engine water tank front and back with refill it through there Steam dome, chimney, another fuel spot, headlight, even even has a water level gauge built into this. I don't know if you can see it from the sun, but as the water goes up and down, it's got a float valve in there, so you can see how much water you got. Uh, it's got little lanterns there, look like they're wired, but they're not completely wide in so I have to finish that off and the headlight looks like it's got a globe in it so that should work rear headlight or tail lights missing but um, I think that'd probably get in the way if you're trying to drive it probably end up making a seat up on top there yeah so here's the ash pan drop that down pull your grates out out there Uh, the whistle, main whistle's under there. Sandboxes, I don't think they're functional. I think they're just for looks. Sandbox there and one behind the valve gear. So, wall shuts, valve gear. All the wheels were cast by the bloke who made it. I've got the patterns for all them. So he's cast all them himself 
Got a full set of plans from the original Bayer Peacock. Locomotive, blueprints in there to go off if we need to make anything else. So I might give her a steam test tonight. Just make sure everything does what it's supposed to. Get a feel for it, test her all out. I haven't got any track to run it on, but just get her into steam and have a play. Might take a few videos and give you a look at that. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? It's about 2.8 metres long. Unsure of the weight, haven't weighed it yet. Right, hey, let's steam her up. Right, hey, so I've got her ready to light up. Filled the boiler up through the steam dome there. Got. Oh, she might be a bit full. Was three quarters on the gauge glass, but it's kind of gone up, so I'll drain a little bit out. And we'll light her up. Got no coal, but got some sticks and a bit of barbecue fuel to get us going, so hopefully that'll be good enough. Uh, the rear the tanks need attention so I've just got the water plumbed up to the injectors from this bucket uh, I need to clean the tanks out and no use putting dirty water into the boiler so got this fan to draw the fire just made that out of a computer fan there running down to Milwaukee battery uh, it's got a steam blower for when it gets a bit of pressure up, but that'll do until we get some pressure up. Right, I'll get this water level sorted out and we'll put a fire in her. Just gonna crack the blow down valve to let a bit of water out. Whoops. Right, so we're back in the cab and about three quarters of a gauge glass there of water. Um, probably rise a bit once it warms up and expands so that should be good so I've got some sticks in there fire lighter and she's roaring they're nice and dry sticks so fan seems to be working all right hope it doesn't melt first time steaming this up so See what happens. See what needs to be done. Well, not a minute after I said hope it doesn't burn out. And I reckon it's gonna melt. So we're up to uh, 10, 12 psi on the gauge. Got the steam blower going. Let's draw the fire. She's heating up slowly. Well, the steam blower works well. Near bloody pulled a fire through the chimney. We've got a small leak on the bottom of the pressure gauge. And one over here on the cylinder cock valve. She's just about up to 100 psi. Steam leaking out the whistle there. Check the dribbling. Shut off valve, won't quite close off the water. The safety valve just started to lift at about 95 psi. Right, I'm gonna try the injector. I'm gonna crack the water and hit the steam, see what happens.
Well, I think it's going in the boiler. This is about as much excitement as you get. I've got it in reverse gear, cylinder cocks open. Let's put a bit of steam into her. And it rocks backwards. Got about an inch of movement on the table there, so that's it. Seems to work so far. To make a track for it now. So there appears to be a issue with the rear cylinder drain cocks. There's a cylinder in there. You can't really see it. But that operates a bit of a an arm here that opens and closes. It's got a bank of four drain cocks on each side. So the rear ones, when you apply the steam pressure, seem to open while the front ones close. So I'm going to have to have a look at that, figure out what's going on. All right, she's cooling down now, down to 20 psi or so. Drop the fire out. Grates there on the ground. About to blow her down. Write a list of what needs to be done and get into it. Well, there she is. That was a... I guess a semi-successful steam test. Found a few issues that need addressing and had a bit of a play. It was all in good fun. So, back to the shed, back to the garage. See ya.